I got into coaching when I was playing baseball at Kalamazoo Valley Community College. And um, college season would end before high school season. So each year that I was there, I would come back home and help Coach Harvey out with Ben Harbor High School coaching. So I would, I would just come and sit in the dugout, you know, um, come to some games, help out a little bit. And, and the more I did that, the more I enjoyed it. So I, I kind of started taking to it. What I enjoy most about baseball is it being such a methodical game, you know, a thinking man sport. You know, not necessarily the, the, the most gifted athlete or the freak of nature is going to always be the best or always have an upper hand. You have to be able to you know, work hard and outthink your opponent, think a play ahead, think a pitch ahead, understand outs, score, inning. It, it gives me a rush actually talking about it right now, just how you play in a chess match with the guy in the other dugout. Baseball, it became about baseball by accident. I think it was, well, not necessarily accident, but maybe destiny, because I loved all three sports, basketball, baseball, football. I played them all, and it wasn't going to be a big thing as far as uh, basketball chasing a career. And football, my senior year, I was actually leading the conference in catches. I got hurt in the fifth game, and injuries ran off my, my dreams of playing football, so there was no scholarship offer. So all I had left my senior year was this baseball thing. If we do it right, we can do it light. We do it wrong, we do it long. So if we do it right, we can get through. Believe on three. One, two, three. Believe. My biggest influences regarding my baseball coaching and playing was Coach Ackerman who came about my senior year, I learned so much about baseball from him. I hadn't gathered before, just a lot of the nuances and the fundamentals and the, the, the fine details. And you know, he's probably the main influence regarding me knowing that I wanted to pursue a coaching career in baseball. And then my grandfather, who was the, the man of my life. He was methodical and pinpoint precision with trying to take care of everything in the home. I took those skills that I watched from him and those little things that he did every day as far as getting up on time and checking the eyes on the stove and making sure his car was ready to roll as well as my grandmother's car was ready to roll every morning and just all those, those little things that he put into everyday life. Four, four! Good. Run out! The hardest thing about coaching for me, maximizing the potential of every player. And, and that's because every player has different agendas. You know, everyone doesn't come into the program wanting to be a great baseball player. Every player doesn't come into the program wanting to give maximum effort. So the challenge is to not only find out who those kids are and understand what type of energy and what type of investment to put into each of those kids, but also understanding how you operate with those who aren't there for the sake of being great. What I would like to see happen is for our program to continue to grow for our urban community to take on baseball as an avenue, as well as me to maximize my own personal potential. I love what I'm doing. You know, if, if I could map out my perfect circumstances, it would be working in school administration and continuing to coach varsity baseball at Ben Harbor High School. I would like for us to grow as a program to the point where we're competitive against everybody, regardless of the class or the area. And you know, more than that, though, I want to continue to guide these young men. I want to, these young men to be able to you know, look back on their time being uh, a student athlete at Ben Harbor High School as a baseball player and say that I grew so much under the care of Coach Tay. We joked and we played and we laughed and you know, there were times where we were serious and what he did was he cared, he put us first, he didn't beat around the bush or sugarcoat anything, he told us what was real, told us the truth and being able to be a part of that is so rewarding. 
ultimately what I'd like to accomplish is every game there are people in college in professional jumpsuits in the stands with stopwatches, radar guns, clipboards, scouting the talent and the students that we have at Ben Harbor High School, offering them contracts, scholarships, opportunities to advance. And the day that we arrive there, I'll feel like this has been a success. Otherwise, I'm chasing that success. Talk about our three. One, two, three. Talk about.